we already recording again? Yep. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I was just like, wow, you, you haven't said anything. I'm just holding this here, not doing anything. <laughs> oh, Skultola. No. Stupid. Thing. I actually... Uh, no, that wasn't the last one, but it's got to be getting close now. Let's see, we got... Room with the falling spikes, we got that one. On the wall with the room with the invisible spinning blade. Let me see. Probably. Uh, check the thing, see if we got all of them yet. We don't. Okay. We don't. Why? Uh, just... Should I have all of them already? I don't think so. Uh, oh no. After writing the boat in the room with three rotings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. On the wall behind the giant skull. I can't yeah, click that one. Oh, whoops. No, no. You one. need to be keeping up on your list, dude. I think. I don't think we missed any of no. them. The one that you just got. The one that was, um. The one that I had to go through the entire temple again. Oh my god, I forgot they dressed him up better. Ugh. <laughs> it's so cool. It's like how you dress up statues of the dead. I don't uh, like how it just, like, goes up and down kind of abruptly. Kind of, uh, I don't know. Like, if the Sheik started here because, like, this miasma or whatever mm -hmm. this place is, like... Whoa, hey, buddy. I'm just gonna casually slap you around. Let me do it. That rush attack. I know it's a stab, but with the two-handed, it looks more like a rush. Fucking... Come, come on. on! Quit it. There we go. Jesus. So, let's see. I think the Shadow Temple was one of them that they moved the... the Skotolas around. N maybe. Uh, so on here, I'm not seeing one that says you have to use the, uh... Long shot for? The long shot to get the, the scarecrow. scarecrow. The scarecrow. No, no, honey, that has been there since the 64 version. Okay, well, I just this list doesn't say use the... Like, is there a different way to get up there, or do you have to use you the... You have to use the long shot. Or the hook shot. You, you have to... It's been there like that forever. Oh, I think maybe you could pull the block out and then... No, no, because the block has to go into the hole. Because all I have is on the on the wall in the room with the invisible spinning blade. Uh, in... I don't even remember what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> the cage is where you have to push the block between the two stamping spike thingies that we got earlier. The first one uh -huh. we got, I think. Um... On the wall behind the giant skull container that's on fire, the one that we blew <laughs> up. Um. Oh, what the? Shit, shit, shit. Hmm. Do it again! Is it still moving around? There we go, okay. No! Don't laugh at me, that was an accident. I wanted to go grab those magics because I'm running low on magic. And now I'm not gonna get them. Damn it. I'm sure there's plenty of magic pots in here. I mean, we do use a lot. Oh, hey. Hey, friend. What you doing? And then... Swipe them all out. Oh, yeah. You can run all you want. Wee! <laughs> Gets me every time. I'm, I'm glad you like it so much. I'm glad it just amuses you. <laughs> There we go. That's all my magic I need. I, I just needed some magic. I just needed... Wow, those uh, Stalfos took it out of me, though. Yeah, they did. That's the previous versions, like, I think he just, like, looks around the room for the, the source of the, the door or whatever. And here, he just rotates. Sit on it and rotate. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> it is an efficient way. Hey, don't go running. Hey, get back here. Oh, it didn't get him. You won't get me. Where is he? Oh, God. He's charging at you. He was. Well, because they, they suck the magic out of you. Yeah, and then they get turned into full-sized ones. Yeah. <laughs> this room, this is the room I was talking about. Oh, yeah. I, I really just like it. 
You have to blow them up. Yeah. Because it's 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 a couple of uh, it's a couple of mechanics that they have used before, and they're now they're combining them. Yeah, three that was the last stuff. one. Awesome. And I also like how they provide you bombs just in case you don't so you have don't, enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, we have enough. Got plenty. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my least favorite bosses, though. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't like Bongo Bongo. I just don't. Abel yeah. hates him, right? Yeah, Abel, I think it's Abel's worst boss ever. For uh, any of oh. you watching us, our friend Abel is actually a fellow YouTube. Let's Player. Yeah. Um, What is his name? Jasu57. J-A-S-S-U. Show our friend some love. <laughs> Heck yeah. Was yes. I supposed to get a key out of that? No, I think it was just that. Yeah, I think it's just the Skulltola. Yeah, I mean, it was still worth it, though. I mean, I know he, uh, he links, um... Oops. I think he linked our channel. In his, in his Facebook. I think he did it on yes! one of his videos, too. <laughs> did you see that? Slammed right into the wall. Yeah, that was cool, too. I'm gonna get you. Oh, that was Nate. I'm gonna get you. Oh, oh, sorry. Nice. <laughs> that was way faster than using Den's Fire. Yeah. Neat. Oh, man. So I think, actually, we're doing pretty good on this one. Yeah, it's taken us two full episodes. Uh, it's probably going to take us a third one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this part was always really... Uh... Oh, I know. It was super stressful as a kid. But now it's just kind of like, there's some fire. Well, now that you know what to do, it's oh, not yeah. as fun. Because if you get hit by it, it resets the room, right? Yeah, it resets the room. Uh, the big key. I like how they redecorated the chest, too. Yeah. I kind of wish they would theme the chest in the Part dungeon. Because the like, this is a bright, fancy-looking chest, and then in a really kind of depressing setting. Okay. Nice. I think he held that pose. He's like, dramatic <laughs> effect. <laughs> Wait for it. You guys keep calling me an emo anyway. <laughs> One of the the four possible love interests might be watching. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. Uh... This has got, what, Saria, Milan, Rudo, and Zelda, right? Yeah. I think it's the most love interest he's got in this one. Yeah, well, and it, I, liked, I like it. I like it a lot. You know what I also like? Hmm. Uh... uh... This is why it gives you arrows. So I read somewhere that, uh... Oh, yeah. I always thought this was really cool. Oh, yeah, that's neat. What did you read? Uh, so... They were saying that... Besides... I don't think besides, like, the first Zelda, mm -hmm. the Skyward Sword, like, they're not, like, fated to be together. You know, he's just rescuing her, you know, they... Yeah, the rest of the it's it's a it's a history obligation, like a, right. a, a a duty. But they never actually get together, right? They're not really a love interest. Exactly. Um, but it suggests that he's actually because uh, Link's always portrayed as a rancher, mm -hmm. right? Or really good with horses, like yeah. uh, Twilight Princess. He's, you know, he's a, a ranch hand. He's an actual, yeah. Um, that it suggests that he gets with the the ranchers, so Ilya and. Milan, stuff like that. Yeah. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Like, I hate the fact that he gets to go with this. Ilya's terrible. I know. We hate on Ilya so much. I just, I I really think that part of my problem with Ilya is that they do the classic uh, memory loss thing. And I just, to me, that's, again, lazy story. Too. I don't like memory loss stories. They're boring. Yeah. When we eventually play it, we'll definitely be complaining about it the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. We'll be booing and hissing at Ilya the whole time, every time she's on screen. Mm-hmm, yeah. Her stupid haircut that's, like, off the one side. Oh, just, God, uh, I forgot about her haircut. Her design, her design is, and she's just so, because her, and her color palette is super, like, like the, Let's muddy. face it, though, the color, the color mm -hmm. palette of everybody in that game is... Yeah, but she's, like, well, because she's oh, got right. that, she's got that, like, platinum, uh, platinum blonde hair... And then her outfit is like, a, like a cotton white kind of deal. Like yeah, she's got no color she's to it. She's very washed out. She, yeah, she's 
Very plain. Oh, no. Uh, it wasn't that one that was washed out. It was um, Skyward Sword. That's washed out, not Twilight yeah. Princess. I don't. I don't. Uh, Ugh. Now I'm. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Like, <sighs> it's just <I> so <laughs> frustrating. Okay, good. I have a fairy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Plenty yes. Plenty of arrows. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, I guess we're doing this. Yep. Oh god, <laughs> that anime actually yeah. makes me feel like I'm falling. Yeah. Like his little boom. Little right. Bounce. <laughs> They made him, like, flail around when he launches I know, up. It's, it's great. I actually find it harder to beat this boss with the hover boots on. Oh, yeah? Like, people like wearing the hover boots because he'll bounce you up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeez. And then the hover boots will keep that you stayed up, right? Definitely a necromatic creation. That is not natural. See. Oh, I guess... Oh, damn it! No! I see I'm having go. trouble. I like how it's like a little window that you can see him. I'm having trouble with the screen. Oh, okay. There we go. Huh. Ooh. That is ow. In the face. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Okay. Whoa, hey buddy. Yeah, you got what what the okay. I call BS on that hitbox. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Damn it. Damn it! Why uh, does see this is why I don't wear the fucking hover boots. Okay, you can see him in the background. If you have the Lindsay Truth on. Like I do. Mm-hmm. Thank God. <sighs> so that's why I hate it, is because you can't focus it's... at all. <laughs> Frantic. <laughs> he is a very creepy boss, though. But isn't that like a necromatic, like, creature? Yeah, it definitely looks like one. It's not natural in the least. Well, in the shark, the shark, <laughs> the shadow melting effect, mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. What is the boss you hate the most from this game, though? <sighs> this game? Yeah. Oh, man. Which one do I hate? Fucking boots. I would say... The jellyfish from Jabu Jabu's Belly. Yeah. I think that's just my least favorite. Yeah, he's he's not fun. Mm-mm. It's, just, it's a strange fight. Uh, but I guess... Oh, so what's your favorite boss from this game? Um, I kind of like... Uh, let's see, I... Hey, Ninja, what's up? Um, Ganondorf, mm -hmm. Phantom Ganon, and probably Twin Rova. I think the Twin Rova is pretty unique. Cause you get Twin use... Rova is probably my favorite. Yeah, because you... it's... it's awesome. You get to use the mirror shield in, a, in an awesome way, and I kind of wish they'd do more with it. I also have to say I absolutely love the final battle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the whole the whole sequence from fighting Ganon initially to his final form. Mm -hmm. I I just absolutely love it. No, I, I like I like Ganondorf's like human form because mm -hmm. you get to play tennis. Oh with yeah. His little light ball. Yeah, yeah, and that's one of the reasons I like Phantom Ganon, but it was like really not on par on this playthrough. Yeah, play you basically just get introduced to the concept. Yeah. I want those somewhere where we can see him a little bit more than where we have him now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say the shelf could go back here, except for, like, we need a place to put our drinks. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so, got him done. Now it's time to go to... To Gerudo Valley. Heck yeah! Yeah. Uh, what are we saying? Time? Yeah. Almost you know what I'm gonna do first? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go turn in the poe we have. Oh, good idea. Did you check it off of the list, sir? 
Yeah, I checked it off that we got it. Did that die? <gasps> you know how long it's been? Hmm. Like four or five episodes. Yeah? Yeah, you know what that means? Hmm. Laundry. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, I'm going the totally wrong way. <laughs> I was going to go return the Master Sword. Yeah. Man. So, yeah, one of the ways we're using these episodes <laughs> is to measure time for our adultly duties. Yeah, we're, we're frantically doing a bunch of other things in between episodes. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, running for the leader of the Amped Guard. Amped Guard is the, the, the game LARPing, we play. Yeah, the um, LARPing. Yeah, because there's hundreds of LARPing uh, systems out there, but Amp Guard is the one that we have been going to for, what, five years? Four no, five no, years? We've about, oh, just four, about four. four just years. about four years. Yeah. Uh, maybe closer to three, honestly. No, no. No, uh, This is 20, like early, not 2012, it was 2013. 2013 is when we started, yeah. Yeah, because that's... You started months before I did. Um, I started in the summer. Actually, no, I started in August because the park that I'm running for officer for now mm -hmm. uh, is the, I, the, my second day ever playing LARP was their opening day. Mm, okay. Uh... So, so yeah, so I'm running for officer, but in order to run for officer, you have to kind of prove your dedication to playing the game and adding things to it. Mm -hmm. So you have to submit arts and crafts, uh, arts and crafts that you've made that relate to the game. Um, to be judged by other people who do arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. And whether or not your arts and crafts pass, you can still run for officer. Yeah. So one of the things I'm doing after we're done doing our live stream today is I'm going to go and frantically sew <laughs> some stuff together. We're packing a lot into our days now. Oh, uh, we are. It's going to be so frantic for the next several months between yeah. the moving and getting a cat and another cat. Uh, and um, Probably another dog maybe too. Oh my gosh, I know. I Facebook messaged that lady, but mm -hmm. I don't think they check their Facebook messages, Probably so I'm going to have to do like a phone call. Yeah. Ah, uh, Okay. I think that's it though. Uh, yep. Yeah, so. Next next time, Gerudo Valley, guys. Yeah.